hi guys welcome back to my channel vlog talk where we vlog and talk hey i'm gonna get right into the swing of things you know how we do it those of you who have been tuning in to my channel we are doing a series on faith so we're gonna go ahead and get into a word of prayer and then we are going to get straight into this word let us pray Heavenly Father, I come before you to say thank you, Father God. Father, thank you, Father God, that your word never returns void. Father, thank you, Lord God, for delivering us from, from evil, Father God. Hallelujah. Father, thank you, Father God, for just being Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, Father. Thank you for your blood, God. Hallelujah. Thank you that your blood has set us free. God, when you died on Calvary, Father, I just want to say thank you. We say thank you, Lord. Bless each and every individual that is tuning in in the U.S in the uk bless their families god bless their possessions their finances their romances father god their bodies hallelujah they are healed hallelujah they are sound hallelujah for your will is for them to prosper and be in health even as their soul prospers now that's your word that's your will and your will is your word and all that agrees said amen hallelujah so today's topic is faith so that the title for today is faith we're doing a series on faith our text and this is hebrews 11 and 1 it is faith is the substance of things hoped for it is the evidence of things not seen and what i want you guys to know is that god's faith is responsible for the word becoming flesh god's faith is responsible for the word becoming flesh it is important to know that faith without works is dead Faith can only work if you work the word. God has given us the same measure of faith. So therefore, there is no reason for Sally to have manifestation in all areas. And you do not have that. God has provided the same measure of faith to all of us. And as we get into our argument here, we're going to talk about first, what is faith? Going back to Hebrews 11 and 1, we know that it's the substance of things hoped for. Again, the evidence of things not seen. God, the word is evidence. It is something that we cannot see. Hallelujah. But we know that it exists and that word provides the proof. Hallelujah. And I believe a scripture says that his word is good for reproof and correction. And so God's word is responsible for manifestation, in other words. So you can touch it, taste it, smell it, and see it. Hallelujah. Now, what we desire is in the supernatural, but we have to access the grace by faith. Hallelujah. And that's actually coming from the book of Romans 4, 16. I'm going to read it in two translations. I'm going to read it first in the King James translation, and it reads, Therefore, it is of faith that it might be by grace that the promise may be sure to all the seed so the promise is going to be sure to all the seed but that it depends entirely on faith hallelujah that depends entirely on our faith i'm going to read it from the amplified it says that therefore inheriting the promise depends entirely on that is confident trust in the unseen god in order that it may be given as an act of grace his unmerited favor and mercy so that the promise will be legally guaranteed to all the descendants of Abraham, not only for those Jewish believers who keep the law, but also those Gentiles believers who share the faith of Abraham, who is the spiritual father of us all. Hallelujah. So Abraham is the spiritual father of us all. This particular scripture uh, in the Amplified Version is saying that it doesn't matter if you are a believer or not if you are saved individual or a gentile because of the holy ghost hallelujah i believe that was in the book of acts where the holy ghost came on them like fiery tongues it was like fiery tongues and those gentiles began to speak in the same language as the saved individuals in the holy ghost people thought that they were drunk but they were not the spirit of the lord came up on them and they were able to receive the gift of the holy ghost and by receiving that gift they have the same measure of faith hallelujah as we do hallelujah because of god the word god the word provides the holy ghost hallelujah and then that word 
becomes flesh because when we when we begin to speak in tongues we're building up our our faith we're building our faith hallelujah i believe in jude 1 20 states that when we pray in the holy ghost we're building ourselves up and we're also feeding our faith so this is how we feed our faith we get into the word also and we ponder and we wander and we meditate on that word god says to think of things that are pure lovely honest and of a good report because we know that the imagination and our spirit is going to work together because the word preached did not prophet some because they didn't mix it with faith when they heard it hallelujah and so what happens is when we begin to hear the word and we mix it with faith when we hear it hallelujah then we're going to begin to have a revelation hallelujah because our mind is going to begin to paint a picture of that thing hallelujah and then we begin to call things that be not as though they were because that is our job hallelujah i was in a situation where my rent needed to be due i know some of you guys have heard this story a billion times but I'm going to tell it again. This is so true. It's a true story. It happened to me around uh, this time earlier this year. I was working and everything and I had my schedule booked for almost 30 days. I was working for a temp agency called Dental Auxiliary. And I was so happy because I was happy because I was able to get my bills paid. Long story short, the pandemic hit and we had a government shutdown and so i get a phone call and it was my uh manager who told me that all of the days that i was booked was canceled because of the COVID 19 and i said oh my god lord you know what father i can remember being in a similar situation like this and i said father you are the provider i depend entirely on you that job is not my source but i see you as my only source so coming back to romans 4 16 if faith demands that god be your only source not public aid not the bank not the aid office not any of these things not your job not your spouse not your children not your possessions definitely not that None of these things, but God has to be your only source. You have to see him as the provider who does indeed provide. God is a serious provider. God has provided all of our needs according to his riches and glory, Christ Jesus. But I remember that um, someone teached on the fact that in the supernatural, hallelujah, it's already done. God lives in the supernatural and whatever we need is up there in the supernatural, but we have to access it by faith. And so grace is God's part and faith is our part. And so we're going to partner with the invisible. We're going to correspond with God. We're going to partner with the invisible. Hallelujah. And when we get, when we get ready to partner with the invisible, then we we are on the same page as the father. We are agreeing with God, the word. And when we agree, touch and agree with God, the word, but when we touch and agree with God, the word, then things will begin to shift on our be behalf. Hallelujah. We're going to begin to have the power because every time we open up God's word and we're feeding our faith, we're going to let the communication of our faith start working for us according to Philemon 1 and 6. So we're opening up that Bible and we're reading the word. And we're going to read the word and ponder and again, meditate on that word. And then while we're doing that, we're attracting power. We're getting that word in us, that powerful word. A scripture says that God upholds all things by the word of his power. God's word would never return void. So when we open up that Bible, we're feeding our faith and we'll begin to speak things out into the atmosphere by faith. Philemon 1 and 6 again says the communication of our faith may start working for us, become effectual. Why? Because we acknowledge acknowledge every good thing that is in us in Christ Jesus. We have to acknowledge every good thing that is in us in Christ Jesus. And I wanted to go back to my story. I don't know if I finished it, but long story short, the Lord provided the income and I know that I am a tither. So I tithe in faith. You have to move in faith. The situation required that I do something and I moved in faith. Remember, faith will work if you work the word and I worked the word and I stepped out on faith. Remember that faith without works is dead. And so I began to, I I began to step out on God's word and I tithed and I kept tithing and I kept tithing. And so when this pandemic hit, I remembered that I'm, I'm a tither. Wait a minute, father. I am a tither. And so you said, if I, you know, take care of your house, there will be meat in my house. So that's what you said. And I received that by faith. And sure enough, the Lord manifested more than enough income. Hallelujah. And I was able to pay my bills and get food in the house. And my daughter and I was able to have everything we needed. And God was able to 
do a lot of things. He paid my tuition uh, as I'm studying to be an ordained minister. I don't owe anything. Hallelujah. So God truly has provided. God has truly provided. Hallelujah. Remember that when I was talking to the landlord and the landlord was telling me, well, you know, you have a choice to either get out by the weekend or you're going to have to pay all this money. And do you have a plan? I said, yes, my plan is, you know, I am doing YouTube. I am ministering the gospel online. And he said, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, if you, you know, don't have the money by the weekend, then you're going to have to pay all this money back. And if you don't have the money to pay back, then we're going to have to go to court. And I said, no, sir, all is well. I'm more than confident. Remember, I'm confident because I see God as my only source. So I told him, I said, I'm confident. I am confident that this rent situation is taken care of. Now, mind you, I didn't know where the money was going to come from. I didn't know how it was going to be provided for. I just knew that God had taken care of it when he sent his son Jesus to die and shed his blood on the cross, period. Hallelujah. And so I went with that. Hallelujah. And I was able to speak that in confidence that God provided, that God has provided for me, that this thing is taken care of. He said, oh, okay. I said, okay, have a blessed day. And we hung up and the Lord did uh, keep his word. He washed over his word to perform and make it good. And he manifested his glory all because I carried his faith because we know that our faith is wavering and the wavering man should expect nothing from the Lord. Hallelujah. But I carried God's faith inside of me because I was able to access the grace by faith. I was able to access the grace by faith and the grace was the money that I needed. I needed the money to pay my bills, to get food in the refrigerator and keep a roof over my head. And so I continued to hold on, hallelujah, to what the Lord had called me to, to hold on to, to what he promised me. He promised that I will be prosperous and in health, even as my soul prospers. And I had to receive that by faith. And so what I'm saying is that we have to go through this tunnel of faith. And as we go through this tunnel of faith, we're going to get to the grace of we stay in this tunnel of faith that's what i'm saying it's going to magnetize the thing in the supernatural down to the natural remember that the spiritual world is a parent of the natural world in order for something to happen uh naturally it must first happen spiritually hallelujah and i just want to give god the praise for providing for me i'm saying this to say that if he provided for me he certainly has provided for you that is already done though the works were finished before the foundation of the world so that's just just something that you have to receive by faith you have to work the word mind you i told you that i tithe so if it's a financial thing you want to go ahead and tithe and then you want to also begin to pray in the holy ghost hallelujah so you're building your faith as well and as you begin to do these things you're going to begin to strengthen your relationship with the father and if you seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness he's going to add all these things onto us and we have to receive that by faith as well we understand that faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of god so hallelujah we have to get in that word be responsible enough to get in the word and listen and hear for god okay and god says that the just shall live by faith the just shall live by faith that is what God says. He said every day he wants us to open up our Bibles and hear what he has to say to us by faith. Every day God wants us to, to pray and to speak in tongues and to spend more time with him and be more intimate with him by faith. This is, said, this is what he says. He says that we should live by faith in Habakkuk and Galatians and Romans and in Hebrews that the just shall live by faith. This is how the just shall live. We get up in the morning by faith and we do all of these things by faith. And remember, we are doing these things. We're praying. We're speaking in tongues. We're communing, which is prayer is communing with God. We're calling things that be not as though they were. And remember, when we do this, we're letting the communication of our faith become effectual because we acknowledge every good thing that is in us in Christ Jesus. So when we're calling things that be not as though they were or bring it to nothing, the things that are, and because God will allow what we allow and he won't allow what we won't allow and this is done by faith we understand if we hold fast to our confession it's going to manifest it is going to manifest in our life that thing that we are believing him for because faith is the substance of things hoped for it is the evidence of things not seen all i got for today guys i pray that you guys enjoyed that message if you have found this message of a value i'm going to ask that you like share comment and subscribe
All right, guys, I'm going to do a virtual altar call. If you desire to see the glory of God show up in your life and you are tired of lack and insufficiency, I'm going to ask that you get it to the kingdom. And I'm going to ask you if the world will be ending today, would you be going to heaven or to hell? If the answer is no or I don't know, then repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord, I come to you now just as I am. You know my life. You know how I've lived. Forgive me, Lord. I believe that Jesus died and rose the third day. Now I'm going to speak to your minds. Minds be ye transferred, gird up your loins. It is well with you. You are healed. You are whole. You are set free. You are delivered. You are sound. You will set your mind on things above. Things that are pure, lovely, honest, and of a good report. And I also cast down all negative notions, all wicked imaginations that can exalt itself against the knowledge of the Father. And all is well with you. Now I'm going to speak to you, the human spirit. I ask that you open up your Bibles and find out more about who you are in the Lord. Begin to give him praise for what he's manifesting in your life and what he's already done. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. All right, guys, we're going to close out in prayer now. Let us pray. Father, I come before you to say thank you. I thank you for who you are. I thank you, Father God, for allowing these individuals to come forth and hallelujah, speak your word only by faith, Father God. Hallelujah, and be saved and sanctified on their way to be spiritually filled. Hallelujah. Lord, bless them, bless them, bless them, bless them, and bless them. They are blessed. Hallelujah, Father God. We thank you for your precious blood. We thank you for who you are and all that agrees said amen all right guys that's all i got for today thank you so much for tuning in to my channel vlog talk and it's always a pleasure to vlog and talk